Hey YouTube, Rick's here. Look, I I know this video is off topic uh, compared to all the other videos on my channel that deal with art and drawing and pencils and all these other things. I wanted to share my personal experience. Now here I'm going to show some photographs that are personal and I'm going to do this because it's the only way to show you what has happened to me in just the last few weeks. Okay, here's my story. In November of 2018, that was just a few months ago, I had reached the highest weight I have ever been in my whole life. I am 60 years old. And I have never been 236 pounds. And it wasn't just that I was the heaviest that I have ever been. Regardless of every single diet I've tried, it, it was so hard to keep doing it. And I would get sickly looking. You know, I would lose weight on different diets. But then I looked real scrawny and unhealthy and it just was just, I was unable to even keep it up because I had to starve myself. I had to cut out things I like to eat. Uh, it was just tough. And then I was hungry all the time. And I know you guys have heard this over and over because there's so many people that are suffering the same exact problems. But in the last few weeks, my life has totally changed, totally changed, and I have to record it on video for posterity, better yet, so that other people could gain something from my own personal experience. Here's the deal, November 2018, I reached my highest weight. Here's a photo of me, and this photo, by the way, I was at 232, so it was taken just before I reached my maximum weight. I'm 5'11", and again 60, and unhealthy at this point. And I had an experience where I walked into my kitchen, and next thing you know, I was about ready to hit the floor. And it turned out that my blood sugar had taken a dive. But it was scary. Nonetheless, I knew that I had a problem because I had to grab something really quick to eat to get my sugar back up and blue, blue, blue. And I knew, you know what? This is not good. And I'm not long for this earth if I don't do something really quick. So what I did, I immediately went on a three-day water-only fast. That's right. I fasted for three days. Now, it wasn't the first time I've ever done a fast. A year prior, I actually did a five-day fast. That was my first fast ever. So I knew what to expect. This time I went three days. Oh, and when I went on that five-day fast, yes, you lose some weight and so forth, and that's great, but I didn't change anything after I got off the fast. I just went right back to what I was doing, and, and it just... As you can see, I went all the way to my 236 in November. But this time I went on the three day because I knew that I had to do something and I needed to buy some time and I needed to reset. So that was the reason why I did the three day fast. And during that three day fast, I, do, I did what I always did and that was go on YouTube and watch videos. But this time my mission was to research what goes on in the body when you eat food. In other words, I was not looking for a diet. I was looking for information as if I was training to be a biochemist. I wanted to know, okay, what actually happens when I eat food? What it goes on inside the body and so forth? And during those three days, I learned enough that uh, by the time my three-day fast was over, I immediately went right into my new program. And this is what my program was. I had learned that my problem 
which the big clue or the big hint was the blood sugar thing, was I needed to focus on insulin the hormone insulin. So I started learning everything about insulin and I started finding people online like Jason Fung, Dr. Jason Fung and, and I learned things from him and then other links that were similar dealing with insulin and diabetes even though I didn't have or don't have diabetes I was concerned that if my blood sugar is going wonky that I could be setting myself up for diabetes, insulin resistance, all this other stuff. So I knew that whatever I was going to eat, that it could not raise my blood sugar so that insulin had to keep going up and then shooting down and going up and shooting down. I learned that I need to get rid of sugar and I need to get rid of processed foods like it comes in a can or a box and mostly carbohydrates that was basically it anything that would jack my sugar up I had to just plain get rid of it was that my food now was going to be foods that had low insulin or no insulin response and I did go get one of those blood meter things, you prick your finger and I test myself every 30 minutes after I would eat just to see what certain foods did to me. As I went on what was what you would call like a keto type diet because I kept my carbs down below 20 grams. I also chose to do what's called intermittent fasting because I had just finished doing a three day water only fast with no food so going on an intermittent fast was a piece of cake. It was a catwalk. So on an intermittent fast, you have different kinds, different uh, hours and whatever. Mine was called the 16-8. So I started where I could eat between 2 and 10, but later on I changed it to 1 to 9, and then 12 to 8, you know, or I would just shift it around. But it would always be an 8-hour window, and then you have 16 hours of fasting every day. Never hungry lost cravings for anything. I mean, basically could walk past ice cream, which is, whoa, my favorite thing to eat. I haven't had ice cream since last November. Uh, I plan on having some soon, but I don't crave it. It's not a big deal. And my favorite is, of course, pepperoni pizza, which I did have some pepperoni pizza, but I made a special kind that didn't move my uh, insulin up, but that's that's a whole different story. That's a video for somebody else. I ate low carb. I ate a keto-ish diet. Well, within like oh three four days of doing that, I found myself like so much energy. I felt good, and I was losing weight. Oh yeah, the pounds were starting to come off pretty fast. And I'm getting pumped, and I'm getting excited, and I'm going, man, i got to do things. I can't just sit around, you know, in, in my office or whatever. And so I did. I, I went down to the gym. I had a gym membership that I never used. I paid for it, and I never go over there. So I started going there. And at first, I just started walking around the track, you know. And then after doing that for a little bit, I thought, you know, I think I'm going to try running. Yeah. I had run like forever. Okay, so I decided to sprint. I was sprinting. I mean, I'm just going full out. I felt like, wow, I hadn't run like this since I was a young guy. Energy was incredible. And every day when I wake up, I like wanted to go work out. It's weird. I mean, I never want to work out. I never. Are you kidding me? But now I'm sitting there going, oh, I want to go to the gym. I want to go to the gym. And I started going to the gym, you know, Monday through Friday. I take the weekends off. And I go Monday through Fridays, and I work out on weights on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I just kind of do, that's called my rest days, but I didn't want to rest. I wanted to go to the gym. So I'd go over there, and i just walk the track, you know, and maybe just do stretches and whatever. Within 12 weeks, 12 weeks, I slimmed down to where I am right now. And this is the picture of me, just taken recently, um, where I have slimmed down. And here I am at uh, 207.8 pounds. 
So that's from 236 to 207.8. My body fat is down to 17.8%. I want to actually get down to like 13 or 12, you know, just because I want to see what that would look like on my 60 year old body. I mean, my body fat was way up there. So I lost a lot of body fat, just dumped it. So that's the bottom line. I've been doing this with a, a low carb diet, exercise, resistance training mostly, you know, working out and intermittent fasting. That's right. So those are the three main things. I can get into more specifics if you like. Leave your comments underneath the video if you have any questions. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to get people that are going to go in there, oh, it's not healthy to eat the key. You know what? You know, that's going to be your opinion. If you're one of those that feel keto's not good or whatever, fine. Uh, I'm sure that you're well intentioned. And by the way, I hate vegetables steak, chicken, eggs, bacon, sausage. Yeah, baby. I'm loving it. Anyway, look forward to communicating with all you guys. Let me know what you think about my transformation. 12 weeks. And I'll see you in the next video, which will, of course, likely be drawing-related. See ya.